What's up everybody, Poke Chaos here back for week six of the MLPB and this week we will be opening up Fates Collide in a battle against the Miami Heatmores coached by Poise on YouTube. Um the Miami Heatmores are currently three and two they are in third place in the division. We are currently 4-1 with an insane week last week. We tied against our opponent, the California Kyogres, 8-8, eight and, eight, and barely managed to win based off of type advantage with our Volcanion against Steelix. So we're going to be opening up Fates Clyde here today, hoping for another win because currently in first place and the wins will keep me there uh, there are three teams that are three and two so keeping first place relies on the win here so we are the home team we are opening up fates collide so we have two competitive picks and they are going to be seal and snivy there's only one seal only one snivy in the set so we'll know you know, based on if we pull either of those cards, that that's the competitive pick. They're both commons, so they're both only worth one point. But we gotta play it safe. We don't want to pick an uncommon that we're just not gonna get. I mean, I did watch, you know, the Fates Collide videos from week two, and I, I kind of have an idea, but I don't want to... I don't want to hurt my chances of sealing the victory, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with those. We do have our Zygarde pin here to show it off, to show it off, and I guess we can kind of put you in the background. Not that it really matters. In our three packs, we have two packs of Delphox Break and a pack of Lugia Break, and let's hope for some good pulls here. Let's hope for some Snivies and some Seals. And let's hope for some EXs and some maybe a full art. Okay, so these are definitely the codes that, you know, spoil packs. Not only do I not want to spoil the pack for myself, but I don't want to spoil the pack for the viewers as well. So we're going to start things off with Fennekin, Gothita, Spoink, Slosis, Binnacle, Kangaskhan, Duosion, Scorched Earth, Reverse Energy Pouch, and the rare is an Alakazam EX. So there's three points right there. Didn't get a competitive pick, but we do start off with a nice three points with the Alakazam EX. I believe Alakazam was like initially intended, or not intended, but initially believed to be to be a playable card, and then just kind of, I guess it, Alakazam Mega Alakazam didn't really work as people were hoping, so ended up not being so playable. So we're gonna move on to the next pack. Get this code card off to the side. I don't know if you guys could have seen the code there, but I did not see, so we'll see what we get. Here we have Diglett, Larvitar, Kama Carbink, I should have picked you, Burmy, Bronzor, Altaria Spirit Link, Team Rocket's Handiwork, Fairy Garden, Reverse Rio Loose, that's a common, and Kingra EX Full Art, there's four points, putting us up to seven points. What is this blister pack? I'm never this lucky. I mean, I've, I'm doing good, but never with this much luck. That is seven points with the Kingra and the Alakazam. That is insane. 
insane. Both code cards are good code cards. Just as confirmation. But still, oh, I spoiled the code card for myself. So this pack, unless we get a break, this pack's not going to be anything special. But I could get Snivy and Seal. I could get both of them. We got Fennekin. Carbink. I should have picked Carbink. Deerling. Should have picked Bronzor. Riolu. No competitive picks. Scorched Earth. Old Amber Aerodactyl. Sinchino. Reverse Gothita. And a Kabutops. So the last pack was nothing. But we do have seven points. And... We did get some nice cards. We got Alakazam and Kingdra. Uh, so good luck to the Miami Heat Moors. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna check your stats real quick. You did at one point get 11, 11 points, but you've not gotten anything higher than five since. So hopefully we can get the victory. We'll see. Let me know in the comment section below who won, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.